Greetings to all my friends. It's great to be coming to you on this broadcast today. Thank you for tuning in. You can find me on several locations. You can find me on uh, Facebook, of course. You can find me on LinkedIn and also on Twitter. You can find me also uh, in several other locations. You just push RaymondBayfield.com. You can find me. I want to talk to you this, this morning from the fourth chapter of the book of Matthew. Verse 1 says, And the Spirit of God led Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And after they had been there, when the tempter came unto him, he said, uh, If you be the Lord, command that these stones will be made bread. And he went on to say that man shall not live by bread alone. But every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's Matthew 4 and 4. And I want to tell you, we need to listen to every word that comes from the word of God. You know, when it says everyone, we can't live by bread alone. Thank the Lord for all that supply that the Lord supplies us daily. God supplies our needs and he gives us food to eat. I thank God for all the food that he puts on my table and thank you and thank the Lord all the time for that. And I thank you for the we can't live by just bread alone. We got to have some living bread. I mean that living bread that feeds us spiritually, not just physically, but spiritually. We need to be fed by the Word of God. The only way you can grow spiritually and have faith is to uh, listen to the Word of God and read the Word of God. Not only read the Word of God, but study it and apply it to your heart for the situation that you're going through. Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You know, there's a lot of a lot of things going on today as far as people saying things, uh, and uh, you don't know whether they're true or not. There's less, so much fake news going on out there all across the world. You know, everything you listen to, you don't know whether it's true or not. You got to trust all your sources and look into things. But folks, there's one thing that stands eternal. The most popular book in the world is the Holy Word of God. You can read it from Genesis to Revelations and do not take or do not add anything to it. It's just like it should be. And we should apply it to our lives daily. And when you're in the Word of God, you cannot go wrong because God will lead you and guide you and direct you. And the Holy Spirit speaks to you through the Word of God. It's living bread. It's living bread. We can't live another day without the Word of God. I don't know how people get along and try to make it without the Word of God. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today, and I'll talk to you again real soon.